Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you my review plus on-feed video of the Air Jordan Bread 4s. Um, I'll read you guys the label here on the box. It reads Air Jordan 4 Retro. Colorway is black, cement gray, and fire red. And the size is 9.5 US. The box is really nice. You got that cement gray bottom with the black box top with the flight logo and the jump, uh, the Jordan Jumpman in red on the top as well. The box, cardboard box itself is pretty good quality as well. For those of you that were wondering, but probably don't care. And you can see you do have the black tissue paper on the inside, which is a nice touch. But you would expect the packaging to be pretty good on a shoe that costs this much money. So that doesn't really surprise me. So I'll get this box out of the way. And for those of you that are wondering why this unboxing video is so late, um, for those of you that don't know, this shoe did release a couple of weeks ago on Black Friday. Um, that's because I wasn't able to get a pair on the release day. For those of you that don't know, and I'm sure a lot of you guys do, um, this is probably one of the most sought after Jordans in history. So pretty much everybody who was into sneakers at all really was trying to get a pair, at least one pair of these particular shoes. So in Canada, they always get a lot less in terms of quantities. Um, so it's, it was a lot harder to get a pair. So I tried to go about getting a pair online. I thought that was gonna be the easiest way. And unfortunately, I failed at getting a pair online. So I kind of ran over to my local retail locations that I knew would have these in stock and they didn't have any left. So I wasn't able to get a pair. Definitely was not going to pay over retail for anything. Um, I'm generally not one of those people that pays over retail for shoes or anything. Um, if I have to wait, I have to wait. And I thought, oh, maybe I'd come across a pair in the next couple of weeks. And sure enough, I did. Yesterday, I was basically walking around, walked into my local sneaker shop, and they had a pair out there on the wall. And I got very excited and I asked them what size were left. They had one pair left and they happened to be my size, 9.5 US. And I couldn't have been more happy. I picked them up. Um, right there on the spot, didn't even try them on. And uh, like I said, very, very happy about this particular shoe. I'm not sure why they had a pair left. Maybe somebody returned them. Maybe uh, they had a pair lost in the back and they just put them out. I'm not sure what happened, but I walked in at the right time and got a pair in my size a couple weeks later for retail. Very, very happy about this particular purchase. And um, like I said, uh, this is a shoe that I really wanted to get. I don't try to get too many shoes on release date to be completely honest with you guys. Um, the odd Jordan here and there and that's pretty much it. Only the shoes that I really want that I know are gonna sell out right away, but I wasn't able to get a pair, but a couple weeks later, definitely was able to get some and very, very excited about that. As far as the quality on here and the overall shoe itself is concerned, everybody's always kind of complaining about the quality on the Jordan shoes and rightfully so. It's not always the best quality for the money that you pay, but when you are paying this amount of money for a pair of shoes, um, it's hard for the quality to kind of live up to that same standard that you pay. Um, when you're paying $200 for a shoe, whether it be a, a basketball shoe, a retro shoe like this, or um, even a soccer shoe, it's like, it's hard to justify the price and the quality ratio. You, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Um, there's not always, you're not never gonna see that $200 value in the shoe. There's a markup on here. They're making money at the end of the day. So uh, quality or not, as long as people are buying them, they're gonna keep the quality as it is and make the shoe look the same. Not necessarily does it have to be the exact same materials as the original version. But as far as the quality on this particular shoe is concerned, I think it's pretty good. It has a full nubuck upper on here, this black nubuck. And honestly, the nubuck feels very, very soft. One of the softest nubuck uppers that I've ever felt on a pair of shoes. Um, it's a slightly taller than your average nubuck as well. It has a little bit of a taller grain to it. I, not necessarily a grain, but it feels more fuzzy or a little bit softer maybe, which is definitely a good thing. The quality seems to be pretty good as well. And as far as the overall kind of the glue, the excess glue around the sole and stuff like that, um, that you're gonna get that with pretty much every sneaker. Keep in mind, these are still made in China. They're not really handmade in Italy or anything like that. So the quality is always going to be um, probably substandard for what it should be for what you pay for these sneakers. But that is what you get with Jordan brand as well as a lot of other sneaker companies. Jordan brand just gets a lot of slack or gets gets a lot of kind of uh, negative feedback when it comes to quality simply because they charge a lot of money for their sneakers. But as far as the other elements on the shoe are concerned, you kind of have these ventilated areas with this kind of uh, grid in rubber, which feels really nice and soft. I was worried about that being kind of um, able to crack or anything like that, but it doesn't feel like this material is gonna harden up or kind of crack. So I'm not worried about that. You have those two ventilated areas on the inside and outside of the shoe. And then of course you have it all the way up the tongue as well. You have that large tongue with the flight and Air Jordan Jumpman in red on the top of the tongue. The tongue is a little bit taller, which is probably one of my favorite parts of the Jordan 4. The Jordan 4 is one of my favorite looking shoes in my opinion. 
uh, which is it's the same with a lot of people. They really like the Jordan 4, especially in this black and red colorway. I'm a really big fan. You can see you have the gray accents here with these kind of plastic waffle things at the bottom of the shoe and of course at the top near the ankle area. Then of course you have these little black plastic straps at the ankle area as well. That again, they feel pretty decent quality. It's it's plastic at the end of the day, so the quality can't always be that fantastic. And then on the back of the shoe, you do have these this kind of harder plastic slash rubberized material. There's a little bit of flex to it, but I wouldn't flex it too much. It might break. And of course, you same have that same waffle design here at the top, and then the Jordan Jumpman in gray at the back, which again, pretty good quality, and I like the overall look of this shoe, as do most people. The liner on the inside is gray around the ankle area, and then the back of the tongue is in red. Then of course, it has Air Jordan printed there up upside down, um, which is what you're going to get on all of the bread fours. The insole on the inside, I don't know if you guys can see it, it's red with the white jump man under the heel. And uh, as far as the midsole is concerned, again, that's really good quality. You got the white zoom unit at, or the air unit at the heel area of the shoe with this kind of black running through the midsole. And then the forefoot area of the shoe is gray. Really, really good quality. Again, it's really hard rubber. It's going to be nice and durable. I'm sure everybody who's wearing these is going to be extra careful when they are wearing them. So it's going to last a long time. You're not going to have to worry about them wearing away or anything like that. As far as the bottom is concerned, you have the red at the heel and toe of the shoe with the gray midsole with the little hits of white in the middle. Um, and then, of course, you have the red Jordan Jumpman in the middle of the shoe as well. Um, so overall, really happy with the overall look of the shoe. Then, of course, you do get the hang tag. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. The hang tag is on there. It's kind of like a silicone material. It's like rubberized. Um, again, it's nice to get that. It's a little extra thing that they do include. Some people wear it with the hang tag. I definitely won't be, but that's pretty much it as far as the unboxing portion is concerned, and we'll move on to the on feet. All right, here's a look at the Bread 4's on feet while wearing a pair of shorts. And again, this is just one of those sneakers that looks good with whatever you want to wear them with. They're pretty much all black in this particular colorway. So again, they look good with shorts, they look good with pants. However you want to wear them, whatever you want to wear them with, they're going to look great. Um, as far as how I have them tied, I have one tied traditionally with the laces kind of in front. Then I have one with the laces tucked behind the tongue. Um, so it kind of has a little bit of a cleaner look. I would wear them probably both ways. Again, it's down to preference. Then you can wear them with ankle socks like I'm wearing them here. Or you can wear them with crew socks, however you like to wear them. It's really down to you. But again, they're just a really good pair of sneakers to wear with shorts or pants. And uh, just show you the details on here. Um, really good quality on this shoe and very comfortable to wear as well. So that's enough of how, what they look like with shorts on. And I'll give you a look at them with a pair of pants. All right, here's a look at the Bread 4s while wearing a pair of jeans. And again, these shoes just look so good in my opinion. I'm a big fan of the look of these sneakers. And like I said, you can wear them with pretty much anything. You could wear them with khakis if you wanted to, light jeans, dark jeans. They're going to look good no matter what. Just to give you guys a look at them, here's the full 360. Again, they're both laced a little bit different ways. Um, again, however you want to wear them, it's really down to you. But no matter how you wear them, they're definitely going to look good. But that's pretty much it as far as the on-feet portion is concerned. And I'll leave you to my final thoughts. All right guys, that's it for my review of the Air Jordan Bread 4s. Very happy to get this particular release. Don't know when it's gonna release again, but I've got my pair, so it's not really my worry right now. Um, as far as getting a pair for yourself is concerned, it's one of those shoes that is goes on sale in the first couple of minutes or the first hour or so. They're pretty much sold out, so if you want a pair, you're gonna have to get them um, the second that they release either in store or online. So just keep that in mind, and that goes for pretty much any Jordan Retro, not just this one. As far as the review page on my website, it's still going to have the high quality images of this particular shoe. So if you want a better idea as to how the shoe does actually look in person, you can go ahead and check out those high quality images on that review page. Um, again, that link will be in the description. If you do have any questions regarding this particular shoe, feel free to leave a comment down below and I will get an answer out to you. And if you could leave a like on the video, it would be greatly appreciated as well. Um, for those of you that don't know, I do have an Instagram account now. The account name is Vujo Josh, just like the uh, account name on this channel. Actually, my main channel is Vujo Josh. This one is Vujo Josh too. But if you go ahead out to Instagram, there'll be a link in the description. Again, the account name is Vujo Josh. Go ahead and follow me if you're not doing that already. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button and uh, be up to date with all the latest as far as casual wear is concerned. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.